Welcome back, Pouring Nation. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about pouring mediums. I've got a lot of questions from people about, can I combine pouring mediums, or why do I use multiple pouring mediums? So first, a pouring medium is allowing us to take our paints to a consistency where we can do a pour, where we can tilt it off, we can get that type of effect. Now, a pouring medium is gonna help us by making that paint flow better. Lots of different kinds of pouring mediums, Starting out with, you can use water for a pouring medium. The thing you gotta worry about with water is the more you put in, the less binders you're gonna have with your paint. And once you get to a certain point, it's not really, the paint when it dries is not really gonna hold together and it's gonna flake off and you're gonna have a problem. Most people say between 30 and 40% water with a good paint is the most you can use and that's about, I, I rarely even go below 20%. But I don't do a lot of paint and water by itself, although there's some great artists like uh, Rinsky Dona that does beautiful um, Dutch pours with just paint and water. So outside of that, here's the pouring mediums that I did in my 11 pouring medium roundup. I will link to that in the description below and also in the card above. So if you want to see how these compare to each other, you can do that there. Generally, you want to add different pouring mediums to your art to change the effects. Each pouring medium does different things. So I quickly just wanted to go over some of the things that I've noticed about these pouring mediums so you can make a better decision about which ones to include in your paint pours. So the first one up is Sargent Art Pouring Medium. Now, I don't recommend you buy this by itself because I really didn't like the pouring medium, but if you buy this and add it to add a little bit of gloss to your paint, maybe you're using Floetrol and you want to add some gloss, this is the perfect additive. So for those of you that have asked me, I bought a gallon, but you said it's the worst one. It's just the worst by itself. Maybe try adding this to some of your other uh, mediums to help add some gloss. The next one is the US Art Supply Gloss Medium. I really liked this medium because, I shouldn't say that, it got 10 out of 12 on my pouring medium because of some other issues, but one thing that it did really well, it dried so fast. So if you want to add, if you want your paint to set up quickly, you could add some of this to help it dry and set up. The other thing is it gives a gl nice gloss look and it actually dried really thick and really well. So those are the things that you could get by adding the US Art Supply. This one, Color Pouring Medium. Uh, the nice thing about this one was it really brought color out really well. So if you're getting a little bit more muddy colors or if your colors aren't staying solid, generally I'd tell you to, to decrease your, your pouring medium so you have more paint, less pouring medium. But one thing you could also do is add a little bit of this to help make those colors shine. So the next one is Folk Art. This pouring medium, uh, I would use it to actually get some better interaction with silicone. This one was one of the better interactions with silicone, so if I add a little bit of this more, uh, generally it helps those cells to form and also to bring kind of the colors up from the bottom through the top and get kind of those multicolor cells. So that's one place where I personally would use this to benefit my pores. So the next one is Deco Art. Um, this also interacted really well with silicone. It um, is actually really strong and had a good thick uh, coating or a good thick layer when it dried. So that's where you could use the Deco Art Pouring Medium. Artist Loft honestly was good all around. It was just too, it's just too expensive. That's really one of, the, one of the reasons why it got a lower score. But it has good color. It interacted with the silicone. I don't know if you've ever tried the pre-mixed but they can create some amazing stuff and Smart Art Materials has shown that along with a couple of other YouTube channels. But that's where I'd add this in to my uh, pouring medium. So quick pause in the middle. When you make up your pouring medium, what do you use? Uh, me, I generally use either Glue Wall or Floetrol and a little bit of Liquitex. That's kind of my, um, the pouring medium that I use a lot, at least lately. It really depends on the pour type that I'm doing. But what do you use? Let's learn as a community. Let's let us know what you use and why you use that, because I think that's just as important as knowing what you use is why you use those. 
so we can all get better at this amazing, so we can all get better at this amazing art form. Uh, next one is Floetrol. Floetrol creates nice, tiny little cells. So that's, you know, if I'm not getting very many cells, maybe with my glue all or with, um, say my uh, color pour pouring medium, I might add some Floetrol to help the cell creation. Uh, glue all is actually good for getting solid colors because you can make it a little thicker and the thicker it is, the, the better the color bands actually tend to be. They don't tend to mix into each other. So that's kind of where I'd use the glue all. Plus obviously it's a economical pouring medium. Uh, the Liquitex professional pouring medium, honestly, it's good for everything. I usually add it to my lesser quality pouring mediums to give a little bit of shine and a little bit of strength. GHC 800, it's actually made to prevent crazing and cracks. So obviously a lot of artists add some of this to all of their pours just to help with that, just to give it some strength. It's got a nice gloss look also. And the color, golden color pouring medium, which is the one that got the best ratings for me, you can add it for almost everything. Um, it is just an amazing pouring medium. That's why it got one out of the 11 pouring medium. So adding that is a great addition to almost any pouring medium. Now, I don't recommend using more than maybe three pouring mediums in a single pour. I think you lose the ability to add, you know, as you add more, the effect that each one is gonna have is gonna be less. So if I'm, uh, let's say I'm pouring with glue all and you know what, I want some more cells, I might add some Floetrol. Or I'm pouring with glue all and you know what, I find that I, I'm getting kind of a uh, satin color and I want a little more shine. You know, I might, uh, I'm sorry, I might add the gloss pouring medium, I might add the Sargent or I might add the Liquitex just to give that extra shine. Or let's say I'm using Deco Art and I'm not really getting um, the interaction with silicone that I want. I might add a little bit more of the folk art to give me that that item or that uh, interaction with the silicone. Just it depends on what you're pouring and what you're trying to add to the pour. So three would probably, especially for a beginner, three would probably be my, my max depending on what effects you want. But there is definitely a reason why you could use multiple pouring mediums in your paint pour. Just remember, consistency is so important. Make sure all of your paints have the same consistency. That will solve a lot of the beginner problems that people have. So if you have additional questions, let me know in the comments below, what's your mixture? What do you like best? So if you want more information about these pouring mediums that I have tested side by side, here is the video you wanna look at.